Living with MSE Tenerife, I'm here in Los Cristianos this morning, having a wonderful time. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's warm. It's about 21 degrees in the shade. It's going to get warmer when the sun comes out and these clouds have burnt off. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tim. I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.55 and I go walking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday around about 9 o'clock. If you want to come, go to timothydow.com slash events and book it. It's all free. I just want to know what you are. We've got two guests today. One of them you know and one of them you don't. So, right, said Fred, let's carry on. This, yeah. my friends, is Fred. Morning, everybody. He's actually called Lance, but everybody calls him Fred since before he was yeah. born. We'll tell, let, tell the story in a minute. And, of course, the ubiquitous Tenerife Tez. And oh. uh, he's staying up at a hotel that I didn't know existed. It's behind the river on, is it? Uh, it's, it's further up. Again, where that uh, it's, petrol it's station is. Oh, with the petrol yeah. station. So, excuse me. So, um, the reason I asked that is because Google says it's underneath the river on, which I didn't believe. No. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out where you're staying, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll find out where you're staying in a minute. So, if you're on now, the 18 people that have just tuned in, let's find out who it is. John24, morning in the chat. Sharon Long, Tim from Australia. Let's let's art today sharon ling sorry let's art today oh we've seen you before haven't we welcome from australia uh morning boys this is chris godfrey and ray lufc's on jbm travels dundee derrick betty hennigan and damien hooper i am ready for your arrival damien we've got everything booked for freaky friday for meetup monday for the walk everything's going fine i hope your tummy doesn't give you jip this time uh, just slow down on the burgers and beers. There you go. I thought Tev lived in Tenerife, says Chris Godfrey. No, he don't live here, does he? But you might as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JBM Travels in here, fans. Frankie Jazz is on, 24 by 7 morning, everyone. Alistair Hickman. Hink Hinksman, sorry, I got that wrong. Okay, I'll show you where we are. As always, I always park in the port. There's the ferry and the port is the car park. I always get one of those two first spots over there around about nine o'clock. And for the hour that I do, I mean, I usually leave about 10.30, quarter to 11. It costs about two, two euros 30, so it's not too bad. So, Tez doesn't have a, uh, uh, a microphone on and Fred does. So if you want to speak something, just stand exactly where you are next to him and it'll pick you up. It's amazing technical technology, yep. here we oh, go. Yeah. And you're uh, um, an English bombardier. Oh, yes. My granddad any, was a bombardier. Any, yeah. Any shirt that I can get for free. Oh, right. <laughs> so you weren't actually a bombardier then? No. Oh, I was going to say, like, my, my granddad was a colleague. I uh, just like the beer. Like the beer. So, it's a bit quiet today, would you say? Yeah. Is it? Plenty of runners. Yeah. Runners, Runners and, and joggers. Cool dude. So, Fred, why Fred? Uh, my older brother asked um, my granddad what was in mummy's tummy, and he said, that's Fred in there. So, I've been called Fred before I was born. That's a great story. But what, the, and they christened you Fred, obviously. No. Oh. No. They <laughs> christened me Lance. Lance. Yeah. There you go. He was a singer. Um, around about the time, called David Whitfield. Okay. And mum was a big fan of his. Yeah. So uh, he had a son and called him Lance. Uh -huh. So I got called Lance as well. So you're, you're n named after a famous singer's son. <coughs> yeah. Sure dude. Yeah. Where are you from, Lance? Uh, I'm going to call you Fred from now on. So from, from, from now on, we're going to call Lance Fred, okay? Uh, from Ancaster. It's a little village near Lincoln. So that's Ancaster with an A? Yeah. Not Ancaster with an L? No. Thank you very much, sir. Don't forget, all your, sir, all your requirements are right here on that yellow shirt. This is green, is it? And uh, Ancaster, never yeah. heard of it. Was it famous for anything? Romans. Ah, it's a Roman yeah. uh, fort or uh, city. A fort? Mm-hmm. Is it on the A5? No, Watkins no, Street, it's, no. Um, it's on Ermine Street. Ermine Street. Yeah. Oh wow, that's also a famous uh, Roman road, is it? Yeah. Where does that go from to? Do you know? I've no idea. Nah. London to London to York, is it? Something could like be. That. Could be. 
I only know Watling Street, which was the A5, went from Chester down down to London, wasn't it? Big. Chester used to be called Diva. Yeah. Was there an older name for Ancaster? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. So that's something for you guys. Google Ancaster in the near from Lincoln, is it? It's about 10 miles from Lincoln. 10 miles from Lincoln. I'll find out what the Roman name was. There you go. That'd be interesting. So um, why Tenerife, Fred? I love it. Yeah? I love it, yeah. So I'm assuming yeah. it's not your first time? No, no, no. No end of times I've been here. But I will say, if you, if you come here and you don't have a good time, it's your own fault. Exactly right. Or as they say in it, Spanish, spell socks. There's all, it's near enough to be... Spell socks. What's it mean? Well, spell socks. OK. I'll do it, spell it out loud. Spell, oh, yes, OK, got it. <laughs> S-O-C-K-S. Yeah. S-O-C-K-S. Yeah. That's the yeah. way it is. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. You learn something new every day, don't you? No. Nope. On Tuesdays, I don't learn anything new. No, yeah? No, no. D definitive. No learning new on Tuesdays. Tuesdays is a day off for being intelligent. <laughs> I mean, I'm on a mood today, aren't I? Yeah, I'm in a mood yeah, today. Mood there, I'm yeah. in a mood today. So um, we've done that. We've done that. Yeah. Why? Well, how long have you been coming? Uh, I was think about 15 years. Oh wow. Uh, you come on your own, or is it? Family? No, I've left the wife at home. Meditating. Well, doing some reading. Have you had your breakfast, have you? No, too early in the day. Please. Too early. Those were the people that used to get on the bus in Fazakali, wasn't it? Going really? uh, in Liverpool, going back to Fazakali. <coughs> and the bus driver would get on and they'd want to use their pensioner tickets. And it oh, was right. the bus would go at five to six, right? And the bus driver would say, You're twirly. So they used to call them the twirlies. <laughs> You're twirly. There you go. Old, old anecdote there from Liverpool. Oh, the dogs are having a go. Let me just turn you around, show you where we are. There's the ferry, both of them, Fred Olsen and Aramas. Uh, oh, there's a couple of volleyballers now. There was none when we passed, I don't think, or I didn't notice them. This is Playa de los Cristianos, and it's called Playa, not Player, for some reason. Because if the A was spelled A, then it would be Play A, wouldn't it? And it's playa, because the letter A is pronounced ah. ah. There we go. It's not Tuesday, you see, learning new something new every day. So uh, we go this way most of the times, and I was thinking of going the other way onto Las Vistas Beach, but that's pretty boring for the first 400 y yards, isn't it? And I don't particularly want to go any further than that down that way, because we were that there yesterday with Declan and Richard. I don't know if you saw that. That was a, quite a good walk. Let's see if we can beat this one today and find a coffee where the a cafe where they'll serve us coffee. <laughs> a nice coffee. You know anywhere, Tez? Just I want to go and see the um, the new um, uh, mural. Have you seen that? Let's go and look at the mural. So, ladles and jelly spoons, we're going to take a cut away from the beach here and go and see the mural. Those of you regular channel watchers will know that there's, uh, we met this artist here and he's been, uh, what's the word? When you, when, you, when you employ an artist, what do you do? Commissioned. Commissioned there. Thank you very much. There You're you welcome. go. <laughs> and he was commissioned to write, uh, to draw or paint. A, uh, a scene on a long wall opposite the Heidi Hole or the Hideaway pub, is it? Yeah. And uh, so we're going to have a walk up there and then we can walk up past your hotel if you like. You can tell me what it's like. Um, yeah. No? <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you what it's like. It's not okay. Easy, but it's uh, cheap and cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. Let's cross the road here. It's uh, you get what you pay for. That's right. That's right. Okay, Tony's on. Tim, Tez, and Fred. Diane's on from Virginia. So we've got Australia and Virginia on. So we're basically worldwide today. 
Welcome to Worldwide Tim. You too can have an action like mine for only $39.95 down and three easy payments of $9.95. <laughs> yeah. Ring 1-800-NO-BRITS. I've never been up them steps, have you? Both? Yeah. I've seen them, but I've never been up them. And we're not going up them today. There you go. Coming down on better. Yeah, exactly. Hey, up. They've been stealing stuff, look. Oh, it's a gym. Oh, I didn't know that. Personal trainer. You do something for me? Probably not. I'd get my money back, wouldn't I? <laughs> Fitness guaranteed. Oh, not you, mate. Here's the boats. These, these, this place used to sell mobility scooters. Uh huh. That's the place you're going to buy a place. Well, the sun's coming out now, isn't it? There's the girls. Ali, Ali, Ali. He's riding 30 a wheel. <laughs> zoom, zoom. So, uh, are you working, Fred, or are you retired? No, retired about three years ago. Well, yeah, because we got all these big plans of doing stuff, and then lockdown came, so. Ah, retired during lockdown. Yeah. So you learned how to contemplate your navel. Yes. Uh, good. That's the best bit of being retired. <laughs> yeah. Is doing nothing. Are you uh, are you a doing nothing guy or do you need no, to keep I do, busy? I do a, do a bit of um, gardening for for old people. Ah, there you go. You sound like my mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's like eighty and says I've got to go and look after the old people. Huh? She's in a home now. She thinks she works there. Ah, <laughs> uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, what did you do as a job, Fred? Oh, all sorts. Uh, no well, sort of one career path? No. Whoever paid me the most. There you go. I well, used to be a rent boy in uh, Lime Street as well. Did you? Yeah. It was good money, that, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> a farmer for about, worked on a farm for about uh, 25 years, I think. I only went there for the tatey season and left 25 years after. Oh, wow. So you've always been working with your hands and outdoors? Yeah, yeah. Well, apart from a stint, I ran the social club in our village for about 18 months. All right. Which was, uh, it was all right, but it's the sort of job where you've got to make your work, your social life as well. Right, OK. A bit like my job. Retirement. Retirement, yeah. yeah. Right, we've got some steps to go up. The black one. Uh, this, this one on the left-hand side, and uh, just make out the sign, the green sign. Yeah, if you've got glasses on, you can. Oh, OK. Supermarket, below it. What, what colour's the building? Well, you can see the, the uh, walkway up to it. Just to the back of the second end. Oh, this one here? Just the other side of the second end, yeah. Well, I've got to have a, have a quick look at this, because I don't know where he's pointing. There's like a yellow building, a yellow building, and a blue, and a black building, a green building. Can you see the umbrellas? Yeah. All oh, right, so it's beyond these. Okay, got you. So we've got to go a bit further to look at it. We couldn't see it from back there, no? I got you. Oh, it's not too bad. Central position. The position's fine. It's, it's, uh, it's, it is basic. It is what it is. How much do you pay a night? It's expensive uh, this time. Six nights, 450 quid. Next, next week, six nights, 250. All oh, right, okay. Is it because it's Paddy's week? And Cheltenham. And Cheltenham, okay. I'll do. <coughs> beep, beep. You're going the wrong way, mate. One way street. And there you go. Oblivious. <laughs> Oh, no, it's, uh, they've, it's changed it. yeah. they've changed it. They've changed it. They've changed it. Oh, because it's uh, yeah. no it's entry at the top here. Yeah. There you go. There we are. Thought we were being policemen and we weren't. We're idiots. 
Um, yeah, so this is the hotel, Andreas Hotel. I just want to have a look at the price of these seats because I bought two yesterday at 39.95 from the supermarket. And I want these are very similar. I don't see how much they are. Two hundred and fifty for two with the thing, I think. Is that for two or each? Two. Two sillones and a mesa. Okay. So let's say so let's say they're hundred each and fifty for the table. It's okay. Okay. So I think forty bucks was was a bargain then. Yeah, they said so. Thirty-nine ninety-five. So uh, we can either we'll walk round. We'll walk round and come back down, eh? Don't. We'll see, we'll see the um, mural on the way back. Mural was the work I was looking for. Mural, not to be mural. Cafe Bourbon, I've never seen that before. Have you, is it ever open? Yes. And do they have seats outside, do they? Yeah. There you are. <coughs> cool dude. So being a farmer, Fred, yep. uh, have you ever owned any farms or anything? Have you always worked no, for somebody no, else? No, no, I've always worked for somebody else. Yeah. And uh, did you, was it like a cash in hand type thing or did you get a pension out of it as well? No, it was just cash in, just paid weekly. Paid weekly, very no, weekly, yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, yeah. What, are you, what are you doing as, uh, for a living these days then? Just a bit of gardening and I'll go and help me mate, he's got a edge cutting business. Uh huh. I'll go and help him now and again. Cool dude, but not too much anymore. Nah. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. And uh it's a police station. And the cultural centre. And the Ayuntamiento, I think it is as well, isn't it? The town hall? It was Carnival Week this week. In fact, it still is. It's a culmination Saturday night, Cheltenham, Sunday. Paddy's Day, and Carnival. It's going to be Sunday. It's, it's going to be last night. rare in here. Yeah. I think I think Saturday night is the big one. And Liverpool and uh, Manchester United on the telly, where the oh. bars will be rammed again. All oh, right, cricket. Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cricket. I'm not a big mid sports fan. Mid Middle of winter in England. Exactly. Winter no, cricket. Football, FA Cup. No, don't they um, paint the balls orange That's in it, winter yeah. for cricketers? Yeah, but the trouble is when it rolls along the floor, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> Hit it out of the ballpark. It's a pitch, you oik. There you go. 82 people watching, 22 thumbs up. I was going to sit on this bench and read the... Uh, the things, the uh, Ray Duffy's on. <coughs> um, I just want to do the, <coughs> what's the goal? So we can fit here, we can see here, can't we? Yeah. Okay, I'll sit next to these guys. Tres Plätze? Yeah, Abraham's name. Oh, yeah, speak English, yeah. That was much easier. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. We're live on YouTube right. with 90 people. Are we on ca candy camera? Not yet. Oh, right. What we got to do, I've got to turn it round. Like that. There oh. we go. Oh, there, there we are. Hello, what, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Daddy, and I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witness. I hope he gets off. Yes, sir. <laughs> and your name, sir? I'm Hamilton. Hamilton. Pleased to meet you, Hamilton. So where are you from? I live in Chaos of Aki, but I've, uh, I was born in Salford, in Manchester. Oh. Are you uh, talking to your people at home? Uh, I'm talking to 84 people that are watching randomly. Yeah. We've got people from Australia, people from America, people from Europe. Uh, Can I ask why? For fun. And this guy just paid me four quid. Oh, great. Well, it... Ray Duffy, thanks for the coffee, my friend. Duffy ought to give him a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about Ray. He supports the channel very, very well. So what is the channel? It's called Timothy Dowd. Yeah. L-W-M-S-T. Living with MS in Tenerife. All oh, right. There you go. Yeah. Cool dudes. I had a cousin. Thank you very much. And my brother died of motor neural disease. No. Yeah. My dad's brother and his wife were Jehovah's Witnesses and they're dead as well. Really? Yeah. yeah. But they know they're coming back again. Ah, right. There's only 600 of them, I think. And, uh... well, there's eight and a half million of us. Is there? <laughs> Isn't that too many for the bus? No, we're no? everywhere. Oh, cool dude. Yeah, yeah, we're everywhere. Cool dude. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. And did you know that between Russia and Ukraine, yeah. we have demonstrated how you get peace? Wow. There's not one Jehovah's Witness that will kill a Ukrainian, mm -hmm. and there's not one Ukrainian Jehovah's Witness that will kill a Russian. There you go. And how many, how many Russian brothers are there? It says over 100, and 40% of them are Ukraine. Yeah. Ukraine and Russians together in the congregation at Wagachov. Very nice. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, so if you want peace, join a cult. Thank you. We You're welcome. Oh, Isn't it? No. Not all, relig <laughs> all religions from here are cults. Because you've got to learn it. Well, uh, you well, don't we, You don't get it from birth. We learn principles. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. that's why we won't kill. Exactly. Well, I think that's very important. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. We only sat down to do the comments, actually. So we're we'll right, right with you. Yeah. No, I don't show up, you'll you be all right. Sat, you could sat to a worse, to a worse one, actually. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, no. <laughs> we like meeting new people. How are you? You ready for my arrival? Yes. Alistair, good morning all. Frankie Jazz, good morning everyone. Thought you, Tez lived in Tenerife. How often do you come, Tez? Six or seven times a year. Six or seven times. Do you ever go over the 90 days by accident? No. You're very strict on that? Yeah. Because you don't want to be banned? No. No, there you go. Uh, Gordon Duncanson's on, right, Gordon? Damien, are you planning walks with anyone else? I think, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see who I'm planning with. I'll, I'll, I'll publish it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, go to timothydow.com slash events, and then you'll see it right there. Morning from Virginia, we did that one. Lee Shaw's on. Hey, Lee, you're coming over soon. Orcus Whaling's on, right, Craig? John Chell, Rigor Mortis, Chris Godfrey. What is Tez's favourite part of the island? It's got to be Las Americas. <coughs> Las Americas, he says. He doesn't have a microphone, so I'm, I'm doing it all. And it's down the, the patch. The patch? Yeah. OK. Did, did you ever go to Crystal Stars um, review? No. No, I used to do the midnight show there as a magician. Did you? Yeah, but he sold it now. He's retired now. Oh, she's retired. I don't know what she'd do. Uh, hi from New Zealand, says N Smiler. Tony says, love being retired, but if you had a pound for every time somebody asked me what I do with my time, I wouldn't need to work. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that. Uh -huh. Morning, lads and lasses. Wet in Leven, five degrees. Tiddly Thursday, Tim, 95% cure, because he fell over. and I said he broke his leg, but he was telling me he broke the leg of his glasses. Right. Right. So that was it. Sharon says, lol, choose a good seat, Tim. They're talking about you, you know. Uh, does Tess travel solo or does he come with his wife and make it a social holiday? Both. I actually do both. Yeah. Uh, Are you t together today? No, no. This, this time I'm on my it's own. It's a solo trip? Solo trip. A uh, week ago, Benidorm with wife. Ah, oh, right. So, Benidorm? I've never been to Benidorm. First time I've been. Uh, Rigor Morty says, don't forget your free Bible. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, we give you free My, actually, you might know me, me uncle, because yeah. he was very high up in the in the British uh, GWs. Yeah. Uh, he was called Morris Dowd. Morris Dowd. D O W D. Yeah. No. It'd probably be about ninety-five now if he was still alive. Yeah. And his first wife Dot. His second wife Kath. And the last one was I can't remember the last one. What area was he from? Uh, he was from Manchester, yeah. but they've moved to the coast uh, down by Rill that way. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, but he'd, he'd moved. He he was he was a big cheese, I think. Yeah. Uh, up in Manchester, then he retired basically. He's probably but, it may have been one of our ones that we do talks, but we don't. We all look at everyone being equal. Right. But what we do is teach people mm -hmm. about what the Bible really teaches. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I, used to, I used to be in college in Newey and Deeside and yeah. used to come around every weekend. Yeah. It was good fun, actually. Yeah. Coffee and a chat. People think we're miserable. You're not miserable. Next time we knock on your door, invite us in, we'd be totally confused. <laughs> 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 so, this is Septic Knuckles and his mate. Uh, Enjoy yourselves. Are you doing a great job? Are you happy? Yes. Very. Then that is the main thing. Yes. If you if you can be happy in life, and you found a purpose, there is no need to judge anybody. Absolutely not. Can I just explain something? I used to be a very bad person. Uh -huh. I'm going to go into it. Right. And I've had a life that's been feast of famine. I lived on the streets when I was 16. Wow. I was driving around a Rolls Royce when I was 25 and I was never happy. 
and I hated religion. Uh -huh. And one day somebody said to me, would you study the Bible? Uh -huh. And I sort of said yes. And I was astounded of what I learned. I understand why the world's like it is. Mm -hmm. I understand how to deal with it. And I understand that we have a future we can look forward to. Cool dude. You know, so come and see me sometime. Where do you live? Uh, I'm down here. No, I'll come to your house. Oh, you can't, in Silencio. In Silencio. Yeah, you're more than welcome to. Do you want to give your address out so everybody can come? Yeah, they can all come, yeah. I'm just joking. They never get in because I live in a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks very much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, or on the other side. Yes, sir. Or maybe you could just wave down well, to me, you know, if words, I get it wrong. You know the first words, what's your name? Tim. Tim, first words I'll say to you is, I told you so. I told you so, <laughs> there you go. Cool dudes, enjoy your day. And you. Have a wonderful time. Uh, thank you and for it's, sharing. How many people are on there? Uh, 94 now. That's the biggest audience I've ever spoken to that aren't witnesses. There you go, <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Tim. For the You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. See you guys. Bye -bye. Cool dudes. So let's go and have a look at the mural now. Yeah, me mum and dad were, were witnesses as well um, before I was born. And uh, they got disillusioned with it and left them. But uh, yeah, me, me, all my dad's family on, on my granddad's side were witnesses. So uh, I know a bit about it. And all you got to be is kind to them. All you got to be is kind to them. Because they, they really do believe that they're saving you. And uh, if you have that amount of passion and commitment to what you do, then I only applaud it. There you go. But if you're firm and you say, no, I'm not interested, then they, they won't push it. Yep. Typically, anyway. Typically. There you go. So we're at this uh, Panaria. It's called Panaria because I think it's Pandaria is the Spanish word for it. I'll turn you around. And here's the first mural, or mural, but next to the Blue House, which I thought sold pies. Just hold that for me, will you, a second? The bloody pants are falling down, I'm so slim. Oh, God, no. It's all this weight you're losing. It is all this weight I'm losing. Lost two kilos. <clears throat> The world needs more kindness, exactly. He's definitely seen the light, exactly. Ray says an Irishman has to be a Jehovah's Witness, but he said he didn't see the accident. Oh, there we go, sunglasses. See, I was coming here for the salad and pies and they didn't have any. Yeah. I said, what type of salad is it? And, I, and what's in your pies? They said, we don't have pies and salad. I said, well, we got a bloody sign outside, salad and pies. <laughs> Do you know what it is? No. Salud is health. Yeah. And pies is uh, legs or feet. Oh, right. Healthy feet. Healthy feet, yeah. So what do you think of this fantastic mural? Very lifelike, isn't it? <coughs> a nice scenery. Why is it then, when somebody's paid to do a job, uh, it's street art, uh, and if they're not paid, it's graffiti? I think they was paid this one. Well, there's all these Bankses. If a 16-year-old youth had done the same as them, it would have been graffiti, wouldn't it? Exactly. But if you think this is good, wait till you see this. Well, I didn't say it was good. Well, that, my yeah, friends, that is, yeah. is quality, isn't it? It's still a work in progress. Though. It is a work in progress. It's going all the way down. Yeah. So look at the detail on this. It really looks like we're on the street, doesn't it? Look at the detail in the bushes down the bottom here. Well, that's, that must be the hill where everybody walks up. That's right, yeah. This is the, an actual, um, from a photograph, or more, more photographs, he's, uh, he's crunching the perspective, right, to fit it all in, so it's not photorealistic, but it, it covers all the buildings that you can see from a particular point. And look at the mountains. 
And he's got the tady there as well, which he's done. Oh, that's a really good. So you can see the perspective there going in the background. I like the way that Rockdale Condit's got a flat top, right? It's actually on the corner there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think that must be the first thing he drew. And then everything else is based on that corner there. Cool dude. I think there's some tape up there, so I bet they're going to stick another bit on top of it. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a brick. OK. Whoever did that is better than Banksy. Art is a, uh, what's the word? Subjective, no, objective? I think so. So here's the tree that we just passed. There's the, the hospital on the hill. Mohon. Emergencies. And he's up to this bit now. So as you can see, he's already sketched out. The, what he's going to do next. That's on the beach. Yeah. And we've got a couple of hotels here. Skill into it. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Really is fantastic, isn't it? I just hope that nobody comes and defiles it. Which usually happens. I know. Uh, or somebody will come in and just paint themselves in one of the balconies here or something like that. Don't give people ideas. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they need yeah. ideas. Yeah. That's what they do, isn't it? Uh -huh. Or somebody will tag it and say, it's my work. You just sign it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've been on 32 minutes. Let's go and find a coffee. I've got to be off sharpish today for the simple reasons I've got a nurse's appointment with the iodine. Quick shoe repair. Well, then tell us about your toe. I ran over my own toe with the wife's wheelchair, so I'm, I'm telling her that Christine ran over my toe, but she didn't. Oh, yeah. it was, I was driving. <laughs> she was sat in it, but I was driving. I was trying to get her... Uh, I can't think of the English word. Organised to be at a table. And I went, and it went, g -d -g -d I went, ow. I didn't think anything of it. And then I woke up in the night with a pain and it was all black and blue, big hematoma, they called it. Oh, this is for rent, hang on. <coughs> if you're looking for a place to rent, three, four, which is Spain, and then six to eight, eight, four, two, nine, one, three, or six to eight, eight, four, two, nine, one, three. And it says here, uh, it's the hairdressers. It's the hairdressers. Oh, and it's for rent as well. Is that for sale? Oh, no, it's for rent. For rent. Aquila. Aquila. Hairdressers for sale or rent. A good smoke, there you go. That's for rent as well. Guy probably died of cancer, did he? Or sold it, one of the two. It went up in flames. It went up in flames. And here we are at Hotel Reveron, one of the best hotels in the area. Is it? It's, it's old Spanish style. Old Spanish yeah, style. Right. Trisha is staying here. All right, so they just got to carry on, have they? Well, there was absolute chaos here the other day. Was it? The cars facing all directions. How's so this guy? He's parking, is he? You're not allowed to film the police in the dereliction of their duty. <laughs> Take my life in my hands. Is this just for the, uh... where's he going? All right, 
can he go that way? He obviously can. <laughs> You've seen it here first. There you go. We've had Easter eggs in the shops since Christmas, haven't we? So. Yes, they always quick with that. Michael, welcome to Banterers. Michael N. Thank you, sir. Albert Boulderwall saying thumbs up, guys. Michael N, good morning. Art for art's sake, 10 cc. Needs a Tim and a gimbal on the painting, exactly. Amazing art, says Stephen Grant. Sharon Ling says art is subjective, okay. Oh yeah, that's the word, isn't it? Where you, it's what you think it is. Wonderful painting, looking forward to seeing it in June, says Riga. Whoever did that better than Banks, we did that one. I think we've caught up. Michael Penny's on. Kalima forecast for the weekend, Tim. I didn't hear it. Did you hear a Kalima forecast? Not heard that one. Yvonne's on. 9.30, says Craig. Thank you, sir. Boradana says Graham from Guildford. See you, Not a Anyway, not a religion channel. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like applauding it at my front door when they knock. Uh, that's true. The world needs more kindness. I think we did that one. What did that shop front mean? Mini casino? Is it a gambling casino? I think it is. Uh, it's more, like a, more of a amusement, amusement arcade, yeah. Yeah. Amusement arcade, yeah. But I think you can put bets on as well, can't you? Like Betfred type stuff. So talking about that Betfred, do you bet? Are you a betting man? Are you here for the horses? No, no, no. 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 I win every day on the horses, don't bet. I put, I put the 10 yeah. quid that I was going to back in my pocket. Yeah. No double of quits there. No double of quits, no. <laughs> but I can spend it, double it. So, there we go. I've never understood how these shops can actually exist. You know, because it's, it's low dollar value stuff. Apart from the sun cream, probably. Yeah, that is expensive. I always think it's... Uh, there's got to be something else behind that, those businesses, for small stuff, you know? Well, a lot of foot traffic, and it's a numbers game, isn't it? It is a numbers game, especially if, you, if your percentage profit is, uh, is good. Pharmacia? Pharmacia? So it's like the, like the market, though. I mean, they're people from the shops that just go and set up stall yeah. on the market. Because I've seen them backwards and forwards, so especially the leather and handbag places. OK. But I think you're conditioned to think that because it's a market, yeah. it's going to be cheaper. Gotcha. And it's not. There's no difference in the price. I got the markets up in Alcala and, and uh, Playa de San Juan, but they're mostly fruit and veg markets with <coughs> a few other stalls and local produce. They're yeah, quite yeah. nice. And the agricultural market in Adek is very good as well. Yeah. You should get a bus up to the agricultural market and uh, have a walk around there. That might be a good vlog for, for you. Yeah, and we've got potato man here as well, so we'll be able yeah, to Yeah, I'll tell quality. you all about it. The yeah. quality of the taters. Yeah. There you go. They do like local honey, local cheeses, fruit and veg, bananas, of course. Uh, I said honey, didn't I? Yeah. Da, 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 da. A hundred people watching. Thank you so much for coming. We're here in Los Cristianos with Tenerife Tez and Fred, a.k.a. Lance. So what do you where do you fancy the coffee today? Touristy or not so touristy? Anywhere. Yeah, oh. just, just pick one. You want your coffee shop? No, I, I've been there and um, I've done that. So uh, I did a good vlog on that with drone footage and everything. I didn't get a lot of feedback from it, so. So we'll do. We'll go down here towards the port. As I said, we've got to be pretty sharpish today for the simple reason that I've got to get the the nurse and have my dressing changed, and I've got to get Christina up before then. 
and she doesn't like getting up in a rush, so. I usually drag her out of bed at 11 o'clock, but I wanna see if I can drag her out just before that today, a little earlier because I've got to be up at the nurse's station at one o'clock in Army Nemes. It's not far, but uh, there you go. But walking's not a problem. I can still walk with it. For now? Yeah, for now, yeah. They'll probably screw it up when I go back. There we go. I think the thing is, when you've got a sore toe, you always bang it. Uh-huh. Whereas when it's not sore, you might bang it and you don't realise it. That's true. <laughs> Wave to the camera. Oh, we, we missed it. We missed it. Oh no, there's a, it's coming up here, isn't it? There's another one. We'll wave to this one. And uh, Deanne says she loves Los Cristianos. Did you get Ray for Super Chat Tim? I did, thank you. We thanked him whilst we were talking to the JWs. What did the shop from Mini Casino? Okay, I did that one. So, Fred, um, yeah. you got any people you want to say hello to? Nah, not interested. I mean, on a holiday and that's it. Holiday? Yeah. Nobody wants no. you, you wants to say back home, ha-ha, I'm on holiday. Well, they all know that, so they keep sending them pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Send them the link to this and then you'll be, you be done. Yeah. So... Is it? Should we, should we go here? I do. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been here before with Webby the other day. And they're quite uh, open to vloggers. Should we get a table for four at the back there? Yeah, good idea. Over there where there's no people. With mojo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. With mojo. Right. You want to sit opposite? Yeah. yeah. You first, and then we get the... Ooh. There we go. Oh. So, ladles and jelly spoons. Hello, my friend. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás filmando? La película, what's your movie? La película está live. Aquí, nice. In the life. In the life. Please. Solo bebé. Solo bebé. Sí, Perfecto. sí. Uh, um, agua con gas y café con leche. Agua con gas. Café con leche. Café con leche. Same. John Same. Water. No, no. Water. No, no. no. Tres café con leche o agua con gas. Perfecto. Gracias. De nada. De nada. There we go. So you're on. I'm going to give you my mic. There's no. There's no. Uh, There's no clip. Oh, there is. I'll give you one. No, it's okay. There we go. So, what I've got to do is uh, just turn the music up. Hang on. I've got to do it on here now. Uh, one. Two. Okay. That does voice isolation now, turns the music up in the background. Yeah. So, we'll only turn on. When you're speaking, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, so, says and Fred, uh, how do you know each other? Uh, it's been this well, time from the vlogs, yeah. 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 Cause I, I like to, he always finds different places that I've never been. I thought I'd walk everywhere around mm -hmm. here. So, but uh, he always manages to find some Different areas, uh -huh. you know, little back streets and stuff. Now, you just pull the microphone up slightly. Sorry, slightly on the on the badge there. There you go. And turn it towards your face. That's your face. Thank you. Ah. That's better. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, so did different. you meet online, right? Yeah. Well, basically, I yeah used to put comments on, and uh, we met up last year, didn't we? Yeah, met met up down at Full Child Strip, didn't we? Yeah. So, had a drink or two, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and yeah, we sort of hit it off, and uh, you know, places like where I go is of interest. Same as I say, he's never seen them before, yeah, and yeah. I would think that you visit them as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, well, everything's good. Much is, much yes. Yes. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got water. Fizzy water. Yes. And the salts. So, um, did you arrange to meet today or was it just. Uh... Well, I messaged Lance or Fred, if yeah. you like, <laughs> yeah. and asked if it was over here. He said yes. So I said, Do you want to meet up? So he said yes. So I said, well, I'm with Tim. Come and join us. Cool days. And why not? I called Kevin yeah. to come and join us, but uh, he couldn't make it this morning. Yeah. I think he'd had a bit of a heavy night. <laughs> His family's over, so uh, uh, that, that'll be that. So but I think we're going to meet him tomorrow. Yeah. And um, everybody else is over as well. Carl Carl, and, Carl's here. Uh, and Anne Marie Elton and David Butler, Tracy. Uh, uh, not Tracy, jo Tracy Slater. Johnny Blogger. Johnny Blogger. I've not seen Johnny yet. Yeah. I did tell him uh, that Cole would bring him tomorrow night to meet up to Freaky Friday. Yeah. But I don't know whether they're in touch or not. But we'll see anyway. Wayne Grace, good morning, Tim. Can you tell Tenry Tez I'm going to the Tigo Town in May? Oh, fantastic. You'll enjoy that. Hope it's on the sunny side. Turn the volume up. I don't have a microphone. Tell him I don't have a microphone. I'm sorry, Tim doesn't have a microphone. I've got his currently, and Lance has got the other one. What's the temperature? 25 degrees, according to that. There you go. At 9.48. It's a lot, um, a lot uh, hotter in the sun, right? Definitely. So because you've got microphones, you take over. Um. Have you been to any of these places which have actually uh, you've seen on my blogs? Yeah, yeah, just just walking around normally. But uh, I, if I'm on my own, I'll just. Yeah, I'll yeah. Use it, yeah, yeah. And uh, while, while we're on with that, these one euro beers and stuff like that, they seem to be disappearing now. There's a there's a couple of on player, isn't there? Um, is it Bora Bora? Borra well, Borra. Yeah, I think they're, we... they're still a euro. Um, think... But generally, it's one and a half now. Outrageous. Yeah, you know, inflation, it happens, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One and a half outrageous. In the village, yeah. it's two. Yeah. I think anything up to two, maybe two and a half is, is, is fine. But uh, there are some places that charge more. Well, that's, but... the, that's the local stuff, though. But if you want your premium beers and that, it's. Five, four and a half, five euros. Yeah. So, like, if you want a John Smith or something like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, imported, yeah. imported stuff. Although I suspect some of it may be made under license over here. Yeah, I'll bet it. Yeah, we've got yeah. a brewery over here, Dorada. Yeah, and a couple of micro breweries. Yeah. 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 And uh, to be perfectly fair, there's a water shortage apparently going to happen over here, so we need to drink more beer, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's made from water, but. <coughs> The water shortage is sort of a precaution at the moment. Okay. So they're just saying that you can't fill your swimming pool with drinking water. Yeah. Uh, so there's no sort of hose pipe ban or swimming pool ban. They can't hear me, but uh, yeah. tell them not to uh, worry about the water shortage. Don't worry about the water shortage. Tim's taking care of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, as, as he was saying, you can't fill your swimming pools with uh, normal drinking water, which is, to be fair, is a waste of water. And uh, there are quite a few swimming pools, which is salt water anyway. That's the best one because you can it more buoyant. Can I just have your mic a sec? So the back's on your shoulder. Ooh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, so I'm back. I'm back. So, uh, yeah, that'll pick you both up. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's, what is it, sodium chlorate, which is already in the salt water, so you're not chucking chemicals in it. Exactly, exactly. And he comes with jellyfish as well. Yeah, yeah. Anne Marie Elton, morning, Orcus. Yes, we dropped into Buddies and had a lovely cocktail. Oh, Anne Marie Elton and David are on the island as well. Ted Whitfield, we can hear you, Tim. Yay! It's Craig, morning, Anne. Orcus says good morning. Every same morning. Uh, Wayne Gray, deluxe room with exclusive, with deluxe room pool view exclusive service. 
Uh, with the television out of the bed. That's the Tigatan, is it? Yeah. Darren Jones is on. Good morning, Ted Whitfield. Morning. Uh, we did that one. Sharon, turn up the volume. Is that better, Sharon? Uh, Nathan says good morning. Diane says soon spring break. And then the beginning of the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter? Don't know. Maybe it's football. Spring break. Do we have spring break here? Is it an American thing? Um, well, we have it back in UK. I don't know about here. You have spring break now, do you? Mm. They, can't, they copy everything, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking about copying everything. We went out with Anne and David the other day to meet up Monday to the burger station in Kyle And I'm not kidding you, the hot dog was uh, to die for. The hot dog was the best thing, and it's the cheapest thing on the menu. Seven bucks, get the hot dog. Uh, that's the thing there. The smash burger was fantastic. The bigger burgers, you've got to have a big mouth to get them in, but the quality's great. <laughs> the quality's great. All right, you're back on, Tess. Yeah, so uh, any plans for coming back over here later in the year then, Lance? If we can, I think we're coming over in November. Yeah. It depends uh, It depends on what, what the missus do, because she still, she used to be um, a uh, teacher trainer. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and when she retired, she still keeps her hand in and got four or five students that she looks after. But if, if you get November free, we might be coming back there for a week. Yeah. I think latter end of the year, even right into December, is always a good time to be over here. Well, we, we used to come over at Christmas, 14th of December, the 28th. But when we retired, we found out that we'd get three weeks in March. Yeah. The same sort of money. Ah, right. So okay. we get extra week. Yeah, October's usually pretty expensive. It all yeah. depends, yeah, yeah. you know, to me. First of May, I tell everybody, first of May, yeah. it's the it's the end of the high season and the uh, middle season's not started yet. So it's the beginning of the low season. First of May, you will get a great deal in any of the five-star hotels. Book directly with the hotel and get your own flight. You get five-star luxury for under 100 quid, I'm telling you. Yeah. I think the other thing is, if you're booking flights in hotels separately, if you've gone onto their website, sometimes you actually get discounts. Mm -hmm. with, with the cookies, they recognise you and send you discounts for the mm -hmm. hotels, which is uh, even a win-win. Yeah, it is a win-win, definitely. But, uh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. I mean, like when we go to Tigatan, Tigatan do up to 30% discounts yeah. on certain days. Wow. Uh, so, if you book on certain days, so... Uh, that's definitely a good deal. Is that your go-to uh, hotel, is it Tigger Time? That's, that's our preferred hotel. Been coming there since it was, uh, well, it was rebranded. It used to be called Noella Sir. So we've been coming here to Tigger Town for years. Mm -hmm. And yeah, central location for us. We enjoy it. And Yellow's next door. And Yellow's next door. Yeah. And uh, not forgetting Marshall's and Chieftain. So uh, all the others. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're, we're in the right area. So that's, uh, that's what you like doing, is it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Chilling out. Yeah, and we always have the right-hand side of the um, complex, full sun from morning to night. Oh, wow. The other side always gets the shade. Gets a bit of sun, but not much. And the higher floors gets the good view straight over the hotels, right onto the, uh, the sea and the beach. Cool, dude. What, what more can you wish for? Uh, it's Craig says, tell him you know Andrew, he might give you a free drink, Anne. <laughs> go see Harry in Tandoori Hut. Oh, there you go. Webby, morning, man. Another busy day. All good, Webby. Webby's in the uh, Open Grapes. You, you say you're not a betting man. It's a Puerto Colón. Puerto Colón, yeah. yeah. Um, Colón is the Spanish name for Columbus. Puerto Columbus, the port of Columbus, called uh, Cristoforo Colon. Hello, I know, uh, thanks, mate. So I suppose we should say Webby Boom. <laughs> Webby Boom. Webby's on a sport, got a sports channel. So you're a sporting uh, Fred? Yeah, yeah, football and cricket. All right. Um, and rugby, when England are playing. Uh huh. 
So who, are the Six Nations finished? No, the last one's uh, Saturday. OK, who's winning? Ireland the top, England the second. So England's got a chance of winning or not? Yeah, if Ireland get beat, I can't remember in the point. Scotland, another. Yeah, Scotland. England, you've got to play France. OK, so England have got to win France and Ireland's got to lose for yeah, England to be yeah, top? Yeah. OK. Is it not like a, a semi-final final? It's all on points, no, is no, it? No, just points. Just yeah. points. They get bonus points as well. For... Well, for how good the hair's looking, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, you score so many tries, all the points difference is... Oh, right. So if they've like, two people have got the same number of points, yeah. they go on goal difference and... Points. Or goal difference, yeah, try difference. What is it? Point, point difference. You know? Does Webby follow uh, rugby? Yeah. What's his predictions for the winner? Yeah, what's your prediction for the winner, Webby? He's going to say England anyway, whatever happens. Ah. <laughs> I stayed at the Noella, sir. It was a green hotel, says mm -hmm. the Lord. That's right. And if the Lord says that, that must have been a long time ago. Yep. Can you Adam and Eve it? Fred was my dad's name, says Webby. Cheers, Tez, says Webby. Yeah. He still hasn't answered yet, but he will in a minute. Michael saying hi to Webby. So we're coming up to the hour now, ladles and jelly spoons. So is there anything you want to say before we pop off? Uh, no, just get yourself over to Tenerife. If you haven't been before, you'll enjoy it. It's a great atmosphere. People are friendly. Just come over. And I think just to add to that, what's not to like? Yeah. What's not yeah. to like? Well, we get, a, we get plenty of moaners saying, no, come to Tenerife, it's gone down the dumps, and Tenerife this and Tenerife that. And most of the people have not seen Tenerife. They've seen, like, tw 24 exactly. square miles yeah. on the south, and that's it. So if you do yeah. come over, nip up for a bit of culture in the city to Santa Cruz, maybe have a two, um, a two location holiday, a two resort holiday, uh, or even three. So spend a few days in the south, a few days in the city, and a few days in uh, Puerto de la Cruz or that area, and uh, or if you've got a car, just go and uh, and have a have a tour. And the other way of going and looking at tours is also boom trikes. So boom trikes are pretty good if you like sitting on the back of a motorcycle with a helmet on and going on different tours. Boom trikes of you book early, and for all of your uh, excursions, nip over to Tenerife First Excursions. They got four shops on the island and online. They will look after you. They're on TikTok and YouTube advertising as well and Instagram. So go and check them out. Tenerife First Excursions. And they've just opened a new shop called the Chill Box, which is a frozen alcohol bonanza place just above the castle, just up from the casino there. So uh, go and check that out. Pueblo Canario. And of course, the original shop up the top there. Uh, go and see Kim and she'll sort you out. Plus there's a shop up here. There's one in Kayasavaki. I think they're actually looking for somebody to run that shop in Kayasavaki. So if you're on the island and you're legal and you've got your paperwork in order and you fancy working, uh, give Dan a call or his team uh, in the head office in San Eugenio, just above the two cafes in the middle there, Tenerife First Excursions. And uh, if that's still going, you might uh, be able to come and uh, Get a job there in Kayao, what's it called? Uh, the hotel is in our village. It's called Blue Sea Kayao Garden. And uh, massive sprawling hotel, nice uh, little shop. Uh, it's a shop and an excursion place, so it's selling um, you know, Marmite and chips and also excursions. So it's quite a varied um, job. And go and check them out. And they're, they're paying quite well as well. So. We're going to finish it here. Ladles and jelly spoons. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, Webby live, 9.30 at Laura's in Kaya, Slovakia. If you want to come and watch, come and get a seat. If you want to come and be a, uh, a guest on it, you've got to contact Webby first. Or me, of course. You can actually go to timothydowd.com slash events and book it now. So you can tell us you're coming. There you go. So uh, Webby in the morning. And of course, tomorrow night is my um, Freaky Friday. I'll be in the Monte Cristo straight after Sticky 13. There's loads of people coming tomorrow night. 
so there'll be no seats whatsoever until Sticky 13 is finished. Then we'll commandeer a whole load of seats and uh, get you sorted out until seven o'clock. Uh, after that, I'm going to go home, but I'm sure you guys can all find out amongst yourselves what you're going to do. So this is Tim, Tez, Fred, a.k.a. Lance, for Living With MS in Tenery, signing off. Bye. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Zoom.